Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Hallelujah. Hey, something about that name, y'all. Jesus, it has power and authority. Amen. I got some message here that the Lord gave me. You know, it's amazing how the Lord, you know, this, I got up yesterday morning, I believe it was, preparing for today. Stu- I've been studying all week on two or three of these net uh, messages, you know. I, I, I got two or three going, and the Lord keeps giving me messages. I got a new book I'm fixing to go into, and I done got that full of messages, you know. That's a good sign, though. But uh, he's coming back. We know that. I told a man a couple of days ago, I said, he's coming back. I said, you better be ready in a, in a store. And uh, anyway, God's an awesome God, isn't he? But, you know, God just speaks to you just, you'll be, I was studying in uh, yesterday morning, or maybe it was this morning, yesterday morning, I think it is. And I said, Lord, this message needs a little more something here. And he just throwed in the scriptures to go right there where they're supposed to go, you know. He said, you need to put this in there and put this in there. And so I did. And that's a good thing. Amen. He's an awesome God, y'all. If you got your Bibles, and remember, uh, the lift safe thing, we'll be delivering those bags. So if you've got some bags that's supposed to be coming, we're trying to get 40. I, don't, I haven't looked. Some man's back there. But they need to be in by this Sunday. And uh, me and Becky will be taking them to uh, lift say uh, Monday, probably Monday afternoon. Chaplain Keller said everybody try to bring them over on that day. So they won't let us in the institutions, but he's really excited about, <coughs> you know, the, the stuff that we can help those guys. And uh, and if we get more than 40, that would be good too because, you know, sometimes they get new people in there and everything. So uh, I didn't want to get to Pentecostal croup so I had to quit singing <laughs> for some reason okay if you got your Bibles we're going to talk a little bit about I jumped on this years ago but one time anyway the children's bread you know what the children's bread is did you know you can have the whole loaf, though, Gentile? Children bread is the Jews' bread. You know that? You know it was Jew first. Did you know that? The disciples went and tried to talk to the Jew first, and the Jew rejected it. Did you know that? It's the children's bread, and they rejected it. And so God had another plan, didn't he? Praise God for the us, us and Gentiles. Us and Gentiles grabbed a hold of it. We've been running with it. Well, guess what? The uh, the uh, Gentiles is fixing to give it back to the Jews. I like that, don't y'all? Did you know that? When we get raptured, us Gentiles, when the, it's time for us to go up there and be with the Lord until we come back with him, of course, uh, the Jews will have to spread the gospel. Amen? Hey, Jews getting saved now because, uh, you know, God said it would happen, but let's look a little bit. We're going to talk, talk about the, we're going to talk about the children's bread, and the one I'm going to start out with here is great faith. There's two places in the Bible I see some great faith. I want to have it, don't you? And so we're going to look at this uh, this this woman, and she had it, and she was a Gentile, yo. So let's look at God's word here and see great faith. Uh, the children's bread. She wanted some of the children's bread, and I want you to look at some of the the, the, the word here. It's good. It's good. Good word. I love it. And uh, I talked to the Lord about this uh, one time years ago. And God's an awesome God. Look here. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon, and behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him. Now she's crying out to the Lord and she's a Gentile, y'all. She's not a Jew. And you know what the, the Jews call the <coughs> Gentiles? Call them dogs. That was their 
speech, their language. And there's some other things in God's Word called dogs too. But back then, the Jews called the Gentiles dogs. And so Jesus kind of used some of that language uh, in, in these scriptures. We're going to look at it here in just a little bit. But And behold, this, this Canaan, uh, she came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, <coughs> thy son of David. Now she had some faith here, didn't she? She said, Thy son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. You know, you read in God's word where he healed tremendous amounts of people. But you know, in those tremendous amounts of people that he healed, there's a lot of devils he cast out too. You know that? I mean, he cast out legions in one dude. And... Uh, God set him free too. Amen. Some of you here has been involved in some of that. Now, us been involved in some of it. Look here. Let's go a little bit further in God's word here. She is grieving. My daughter is grievously vexed with the devil. So she knew what was going on. She was a Gentile. And she come humbly to the Lord. This man named Jesus, she had heard that the man, the God-man, deity, Emmanuel with us, uh, was a healer and a deliverer, the Son of God. That's who he is. Let's go a little bit further here and look. But he answered her not a word, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. So the disciples done got tired of her crying and whining, you know, and everything, and, and uh, they uh, they told the Lord, said, Lord, just send her away and get her out of here, you know. So let's look and see what Jesus, Jesus is going to do here. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You see that? But at first, he's supposed to go to the Jew first, but the Jews would not receive what God had. I've got a scripture down here to talk about that a little bit more, but but he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But he said, answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. In other words, he's saying here, I'm sent for all. Let's go a little further. Then came she, and what she do? She worshiped him. Now I'm fixing to come up with a message about God Almighty, our Lord Jesus Christ, the anointed one. Let certain people, well, let people worship him. Why? Because he's God. That's the one we worship. Did you know that? Did you know the man that was talking to John the Revelator when he was up in heaven and going through that vision and everything, John the Revelator bowed down to him and said, don't bow to me, I'm just a servant like you. Don't worship me. But right here, this woman, then came she and worshiped him. Man, that's powerful. She knew who he was. She bowed down before him and worshiped him, saying, Lord, there's my favorite prayer right here. Help me. That's my favorite prayer. God knows when I call that one. And did you know that's one of my most powerful prayers to the Lord? Help me, Lord. You know what happens when I get to that prayer? I've come to the point where I'm humble before the Lord. I worship him, and I recognize him as Lord that can do it. He can help me because he done told me he would help me in Isaiah 41 10 and I took him at his word when he told me that years ago and when I need him I cry out to him and he's there. Hmm. Look at this y'all. Most powerful to me. Then she came and worshipped him saying Lord help me. You think Jesus heard that prayer? Oh man. I really like that right there. Look here. She worshiped him, and he let her worship him. The disciples worshiped him because why? He's God Almighty. He's worthy to be praised. Think about it, y'all. Let's go a little bit further right here. But he answered and said, Is not, uh, is not meant to take the children's bread and cast it to dogs? Now, that's Jesus talking. He said, You want me to take the children's bread? 
and cast it to dogs? Now, what is this telling us? The children of bread is what? Uh, Jew first. The Lord came to his own and they received him not, y'all. Now, let's look right here and, and look at what, what Jesus, he's merely using the language that, used, that was used back then, okay? You know, uh, children of God can have whole loaves. That's benefits. Oh, I want the whole loaf, don't y'all? I want the full benefit. I, I told the Lord when I sold out to him 110%, not 75% or 20% or what. I mean, uh, at times, you know, up and down, I never come 100%. But when I finally become 100%, I told the Lord I just submitted 100% to him, and he knew it because I was way down there, and I was looking up, and I said, I'm Lord, I'm yours. Do what you want to with me. You know, you can kill me, take me, whatever. I don't care. Just I'm yours. Uh -huh. I'm totally yours now. And then, boy, he started working on me. But I told him, I said, I want everything you got. Not in a greedy way, in a loving way. You see what I'm saying? I want to, to do what you want me to do, but I want all that I need to do it. And the benefits that come with being a Christian is tremendous, y'all. We, we can't even imagine what they are. And when we got saved, we didn't do it to... Uh, for all the benefit package, we did it because we loved God and we knew that he had mercy and grace on us and he forgave us for our sins and we was not worthy of it. Unmerited faith. Amen? Think about it. That's why we love him. That's why we're here tonight, isn't it? Because we love him. Hallelujah, praise God. Look at here. But he answered and said, Is not it meant to, to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs? Calling her a dog. Let's go a little bit further. And then she said, truth, Lord. In other words, she knew that uh, uh, the, the, it was for the Jews and everything, but she was a Gentile, and she seen it who he was, and she worshiped him. Uh, uh, and look here. She said, truth, Lord. If the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Amen. So, uh, you know, I'll take them crumbs, won't you? It comes from God Almighty. I'll tell you right now, praise God. We can have the whole loaf. Gentiles were called dogs by the Jews. Christ used the common speech. Here's what he done when he, he, he said he's talking about the dog. And uh, Christ could not turn down such great a faith as he's seeing in this woman, y'all. Let's look a little bit further here. Matthew, then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. I see that another place in the Bible, and I've got that scripture. The Lord gave me that scripture yesterday morning. You know, I didn't think about putting it in there, but he, the Holy Ghost told me. But look here. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. Her daughter was made whole that very hour. Now, what did that woman do there? She worshiped our Lord. She prayed. She humbled herself. Was she desperate? She was desperate. Was she respectful? Yes, she was respectful. And she worshiped the Lord. Think about it. She was full of faith in Christ. Man, there's some strength in what she was doing. Not a whole lot of prayer there, but you see all that's in that prayer? She had all of those things in that prayer, and God heard that prayer, and he acknowledged it so much that he healed her daughter. And she, the daughter wasn't there, by the way. The mama was there crying out for her daughter, okay? Guess what? The daughter was at home in the bed, and when the mama went home in the bed, she seen that the daughter had been delivered. Amen? Let's look at this verse 30 here. And Jesus departed from thence and came nigh to the Sea of Galilee and went into the mountains and sat down there. And great multitudes came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind. I wanted to put this, this, this scripture in here. We... 
What does this do to you and I as Christians? It builds our faith, doesn't it? Listen to this. And great multitudes came to him. Just think, they didn't have no MRIs downtown. They didn't have doctors downtown. They didn't have hospitals downtown. When they got some of these diseases, man, they didn't know what was going to happen. They had just looked on the history of things that happened. People die with this stuff or people are lame with this stuff and nobody can help them. But here is Emmanuel, deity, God Almighty, the God-man is upon this earth. And while he's here, he is the great physician still today. Amen. Look at here. A great multitude came unto him, having with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet. And he healed them. Man, is that awesome or what? Wouldn't you like to get all of our loved ones and family and all of our sisters and brothers that's sick and not even be here tonight and bring them in here and cast them down at Jesus' feet and say, Lord, heal them? He asked. We humbly ask like this uh, Phoenician woman. She asked, and she worshipped God, and she knew who he was, and she had great faith. I know you can heal him because you're him. You're the Christ, the anointed one. Amen. Look at here. I like that. At Jesus' feet, and he healed them. Man. Insomuch that the multitude wondered when they saw the dumb to speak, the maimed to be whole, the lame to walk, and the blind to see. They glorified the God of Israel. God gets the glory. Amen. He is the healer. His son, our redeemer. He is alive. Think about it. And we build our faith. This woman had great faith is what the word of God says. Amen. She had so much faith she went to and her daughter was laying at home. She knew that her daughter had demons in her. Think about it. And praise God, she come and cried out desperately to the Lord. God Almighty Christ, she believed it. And because of that, God heard her prayer, help me. Help me. We need to get in them points sometimes in our spiritual walk with the Lord and cry out to the Lord in situation. God, help me. I can't handle this no more. I need you to help me. Amen. And you know what? God will hear that prayer because why? You're his. Think about it, y'all. Let's go a little bit further right here and look in uh, Mark 7, 24, the daughter healed. We see that kind of uh, uh, what the woman was a Greek, a S S Syrophoenician by nation, and she besought him, besought him that he would, cast forth the devil out of her daughter. He come. She knew he had a devil. Amen. But Jesus said unto her, let the children first be filled, for it is not meet to take the children's bread and cast it unto the dogs. There it is again. This is in Mark. And he said unto her, for this saying, go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. Is that awesome? She cried out, Lord, asked for help. And did God help her? Yes, he did. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let's go a little bit uh, further here and mark this other one. And when she was come to her house, uh, she found the devil gone out and her daughter laid upon the bed. Amen. She got what she asked for because she had uh, determination. She cried out to the Lord. She she, she, she humbled to the Lord. She worshiped the Lord, and she asked God to help her. And he seen that great faith that she had. And he honored it, didn't he? He healed her daughter. Can you imagine? I mean, where she was at. Now, let's look right here. Let's look about the Jews, what they'd done. They made a big mistake. They paid for it, but they fixed to get it back. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. You know what that is? The Lord Jesus Christ, descendant of David, come on down the linkage like the prophet said, Isaiah 9, 6, all of that thousands of years ago. He come to the Jews. You know, that always got a hold of me. And he walked in there in the Pharisees and said, you see, instead of saying that's the anointed one, that's the Christ that the, our forefathers and prophets have been talking about, they got uh, 
he's going to interfere with my uh, uh, position here as a Pharisee, Sadducee, or Sanhedrin uh, in my spot. I don't want him to mess me up, crucify him. That's about what they say, it, ain't it? You know, if they was godly prophets, Sanhedrins, and Pharisees, and all of that, they'd have knew who he was. They didn't know who he was. They didn't lost touch with God Almighty. Amen. When he come down that uh, uh, road and he was on that little barrow when they was throwing them palm leaves out there, they should have knew who he was. He was uh, threatening their position that they were in. and They couldn't have that. They wanted to keep themselves as gods, the way I see it. That's what's happening around this world here today. We got men out there that want to be greater than God, and they think they are. They think they are. But oh, so wrong. Oh, so wrong. I could get into some good stuff about technology and stuff that's going on in some other countries. They think they got it all. But they do. They're ruling their people with demons. They, they got that. It ca he came unto his own, and his own received him not. Y'all see that? Let's go a little bit further right here and look. Uh, I think I want, yeah, I want to look in Matthew 8. Look at this other one right here. This is centurion. He, this is a great faith, too. This is one the Lord told me to write down. Think about this great faith. This centurion was over hundreds of men, and he cried out, I know this Jesus. Uh, my, my servant is sick. I'm going to go to him, and I'm going to ask him to heal my servant. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. Other words, he said, Jesus said unto him, I'll come to your house and I'll heal him. Look at the faith on this man. Then the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy. He knew where his place was at, didn't he? I am not worthy that thou should come under my roof, but speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Now, that's awesome. You see what the centurion know? He humbled himself down. I'm not worthy, God, for you to come under my roof. I'm no good, Lord, but please help me. There's that prayer again, you see. This is me putting it in my Look here. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me, and I say to this a man, go, and he goeth, and to another come, and he cometh, and to my servant do this, and he doeth it. In other words, this was a big uh, Roman centurion uh, commander, y'all. He had a lot of people under him, but he humbled himself down, didn't he? He didn't think he was better or bigger or anybody. He humbled himself down, and he went to God, and he cried out to God. And when Jesus heard it, he marveled. And he said unto them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. You see that? There's another great faith we're talking about. I want to have that great faith, don't you? I want to have that great faith to move mountains and things in that comes at us, and it's going to come at you. It's going to come more than ever before, I believe, because the time is short, y'all. I believe our Lord's fixing to come back. So, but we're his, and greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. So we can stand these things that come at us because God is with us. He's going to be with us. He won't forsake us. Think about it. And just as these two great faith, the, uh, the, uh, the, the lady and the centurion here cried out to the Lord for help, and he helped them. He said, great faith. I want to have that great faith, don't you? Amen. Hallelujah. here. I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And I say unto you that many shall come from the east and the west and shall sit down with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Look at here. But the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I tell you, people in the uh, kingdom of this world we're in God's kingdom y'all we're not in this kingdom here and that's why the resistance and the war the spiritual war is on so much because we're in God's kingdom 
He's the one we serve. And Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way. And as thou had believed, the centurion believed, you, Jesus, you can heal my servant. He had that much faith when he went down there, y'all. He, and he went his way. As thou hast believed, so be it done unto thee. And the centurion had that faith. You know, sometimes I have to I pray to God, God, give me that faith that I need. Don't let doubt get in there and unbelief because the devil will try to throw darts in there and do that. Do you know that? But look here. Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way uh, as thou hast believed, so it be done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the self same hour. We have that uh, 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 thing happen to this man just like happened to that lady. Amen. They got what they asked from the Lord, our Lord. You and I can get it too, amen. And I know there's been times God has just moved on me in certain situations. Just, And I know there's times that I'm still praying about some things, amen. But it's all in his timing, y'all. It's all in his timing. He's our Lord. He's over. He, he knows what's best for us. He knows everything, ever hair on your head. He knows about it. Look at here. Let's go uh, to this uh, this other scriptures here. This is my last one. Psalms 107.20. Healed and saved from destruction. Amen. Look at here, y'all. He sent his word and healed them. Our Lord has sent his word. Did y'all know that? And he heals us. I, I, I would say it, I, everybody in here has been healed by God at one time. And we, we can hold on to that thing. When you get a, a good healing from the Lord... Hang on to it when you got something going on. Say, Lord, I remember when you done this, and I remember when you done that. I remember when you done this, Lord. Amen. Look here. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. Amen. You and I have been delivered from the destruction that's fixing to come upon this world and the world. Praise God. We're stepped into the kingdom of God Almighty, and we're going to get the benefits. We're going to get the full loads that the Jews have spoke to God. Amen. We got it. And the Jews is going to get it back, but we're going to be in heaven. Right now, the Jews is getting some of the crumbs the way I see it. And we got the loads. Amen. He said he coming to his own and they received him not. That's me talking, but that's the way I look at it. But God, he, they're still his promised, his children, the one he has chosen to do certain things in his creation, creative work. Amen. And we love them because why? They are our brothers and sisters, and we're going to be praising and shouting with them. Amen. And they're going to be ruling and reigning the world just like us, helping our Lord. Think about it. We're supposed to love our Jew brothers and sisters, and we do because God, he loves us all. Think about it. Every head bow, please. Lord, we love you tonight, and we praise you. Thank you for your holy word. Thank you, Lord, that you sent this word. Your word is truth, God. It's so comforting to our, 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 our spiritual walk with you that we can get in your word and we can build our faith. And we're building our faith. You said faith come by hearing the word. We're hearing the word. We're hearing the word of this great faith, God. And I pray, God, that everybody here tonight will receive a, a tenfoldness of great faith like they've never had before. And it will hold and, and they'll move mountains that come in their families and their lives, God, in Jesus' name. I pray for the folks on the Internet. I pray that their faith will be uh, uh, tenfold uh, encouraged to, to walk the walk and talk the talk of the Lord Jesus Christ in this uh, world that we're in. We're Christians. We're, we're Christian warriors for Christ. We're going to stand our ground because we rely on our Savior and the truth. The truth will set you free. If you've been in bondage of the devil, He's wanting to set you free tonight. I pray that uh, people on the uh, Internet tonight would just cry out to the Lord. And if you need healing in your body, just like this, uh, uh, this uh, woman that went and cried for her child, God delivered because of that great faith she had. She worshiped him, and she asked God to help her, and he did. The centurion asked for help, and God helped him. He'll help you too. God bless you. Lord, each and every one in here tonight just... Uh, I bind the devil from stealing what's accomplished here tonight. You said you were to fall on good ground, spring up, bring much fruit. And we thank you for that, God, in Jesus' name. I pray that you'll be with us the rest of this week, God. Give us intellect, wisdom, and knowledge. Let us uh, 
and do those things that we need to do, but let us come back, God, to your house Sunday morning, Sunday night. And God, just let our, tonight, let our cup run over, even as we go out these doors, God, let our cup run over, God, in Jesus' name, and flow out to our, our, our families, our brothers and sisters during these times uh, that we recognize the Christ child, God, Christmas. Thank you for Christmas, God, and your son, Jesus. Everybody said amen, amen, God bless you. Thank you for being here tonight. Bring somebody with you. I challenge you to bring 10 people with you Sunday morning.